Man, they made Athena's fortune rough in season 11. Luckily, I have some tips for you guys, and maybe you guys will even have some for me. If you guys find this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe, and on to the video. Forts of Fortune are the best way to level Athena's fortune in season 11. Why? Well, they only take about an average time of 29 minutes if you're on a sloop, and it could be done way quicker if you have an experienced galleon or brigantine, as they could take about 15 to 20 minutes. They drop tons of regular loot items, gems, a bunch of Athena's trinkets, two Athena's gunpowder barrels, two stronghold gunpowder barrels, and an Athena's chest, and with some of these items being buffed in Season 11, there's no doubt that this is the quickest way to do this. When sold at Emissary 5, these provide a solid two levels, at least for where I was at in the game, and like I said, it only takes about 30 minutes even if you're a solo sloop. That includes time to sail there and time to completely finish sail selling. So 30 minutes for two levels at Emissary 5, amazing way to level. However, the only problem with these is they're emergent and they're not always around, so let me give you guys some other things to do while you're waiting for them to pop up. The second best thing to level your Athenas in Season 11 is to do Legend of the Veil. Now there's a few different methods to do this. We're going to start as if you're a solo player. If you're a solo player, complete the whole quest like normal. If you're not familiar with it, it will give you three different tasks, the last one being to fight a haunted island or garrison in which you will receive a bunch of Athena's trinkets throughout the voyage and an Athena's chest and a bunch of damned loot, and every single time you do this, you will reach Emissary Grade 5, so it's definitely an amazing way to get your session started. If you have two or more people, however, you might want to go to the Ashen area. What you can do there is you can farm shipwreck graveyards by putting down quests and canceling them until you get them nearby. Three of these will also give you Emissary Grade 5, but they will provide more loot than completing the Veil. The reason I don't suggest that you do this solo is because it's very slow when you're solo to go get everything out of the shipwrecks and then carry them up, swim them up, go back down. So the more people you have, the quicker this method is. So for one or maybe even two people, actually just completing the Veil will be quicker. But either way, the Veil will provide you with a level 5 Emissary Flag, access to the Emissary Quest, and lots of loot and levels no matter how you decide to do it. The third best way to level Athena's fortune is the raid voyages. Now this is the case for most trading companies and they aren't as good for Athena's fortune but they are still a great way for a few reasons. They are very sustainable and unlike the Fort of Fortune these can be activated on demand at any time and unlike the Legend of the Veil you will have no need to sail so you will have saved tons of time just dive and get to work as soon as you get there. However these raid voyages have a massive downside they're only really good to do if you can get the talismans and even the lower level talismans are not really worth it. The lowest talisman can be obtained by doing the Ashen Winds fight and all of the ones above that will drop talismans. This method gets better the higher level you get and as you get better access to better raid voyages you also get access to better talismans. The higher level you get the more worth it this method becomes but the only downside is, like I said, the accessibility to this from starting. And nobody was higher than level 30 when this started, so nobody really had access to the good raid, raid voyages yet. As you get higher level, just try them out and see if you think that they're giving you as a person, because people work differently and they would do faster things different. They do different things faster. See if it's worth doing for you, as it might be for some of you. Especially check out the new raid voyages as you get higher level, but in the meantime, use Legend of the Veil and Forts of Fortune to raise your reputation. The fourth best way to level your Athena's fortune in Season 11 is the Emissary Quest. Now, it used to be absolute garbage, I will admit, but there have been some changes that make it quite a bit more worth doing. The first change that has made these way more worth it is the Athena's chests have been rebalanced in Season 11 to give us way more reputation than ever before. They, may, they used to give a fraction of a level, and now they can give up to a whole level depending on what level you are. The Emissary Quest has two phases. The first phase used to always drop regular loot, and now it drops Athena variants of loot most of the time, making it even more worth doing than ever before. While it isn't the quickest way to level, it's definitely a good way to add variety to your play session to stop yourself from getting burnt out or bored during it. It's also a good way to end your session, as it is unlikely that you will ever be contested while doing it because you were the only one with access to the mission, and there is nothing in the sky telling everyone where you were at, like everything else that I've mentioned so far. And it also gets you a nice free Athena's chest to end the night or the session off with in which you're playing. This quest is definitely worth doing after you reach grade 5, as it's fairly short. It's only 4 islands, it provides a few Athena's trinkets, a legendary gunpowder barrel, which is great for that commendation if you don't have it, and an Athena's chest which as mentioned has already been rebalanced so it's still pretty it's definitely worth going for this is a solid this is also a solid method because you should always be grade 5 when doing this unless for some reason you're deciding to reset your emissary so if you have the time and you're getting bored of the other things do your emissary quest and do it before you log off because it's definitely worth doing real quick the last method is controversial 
It's my least favorite, but it could be some of your guys' favorite, Hourglass. Hourglass is arguably the best method to level up. But the reason it's in my number 5 spot is because of its consistency. It's not that it's bad to level, it's because you need to be really good at it for it to be a good way to level. And this is a video about how to make everyone level up quickly in Athena's, and not everybody can level up quickly with Hourglass. Now, this doesn't mean it's bad though. It's Like I said, it's not because of its leveling capabilities that it's down this low on the list, but it's because of its inconsistency and massive fluctuation of success across different skill levels. Because there is not really a skill-based matchmaking to this, you have to be in like the top 10, 5 to 10 percent of Sea of Thieves players for this to even be a viable way for you to level quickly in Athena's. As I mentioned though, this does not mean it's not good. It just means that the average player, this is not the most effective, efficient, repeatable way. However, if you are an average player or even a lower level or newer player, as you get better at PvP, you need to try out Hourglass and try it out, watch videos about it, do all that sort of stuff because Hourglass is a great way to level up. It's also a method which includes diving, so if you're switching sessions looking for Forts of Fortune, this may be extremely useful to you. The overall strategy for Athena's is simple. First, put up your Emissary Flag. Next, do a Legend of the Veil. Whether you choose to do it like I said you should for a solo player or using the Shipwreck Graveyards, either way will get you to a Grade 5 Flag, allowing you to do the rest of the methods more effectively. After you do this, you have a few choices. You could do more Legend of the Veils, you could choose to start some Raid Voyages if you're high enough level, or you could keep diving around looking for Forts of Fortune, and I would definitely recommend doing those as your number one priority, especially after you reach Grade 5 Emissary. Hourglass is also a great way to dive, but you do need to win your match to stay in the session, so I would really only like recommend Hourglass, as I said, if you're pretty good at it. But definitely practice it, as it is one of the best ways to level once you do get good at it. Engage in emergent events along the way only if you are not grade 5 yet. Killing skeleton ships and megalodons will increase your emissary value even if you don't get any loot from them. Shipwrecks are almost completely useless as well as all the other emergent events for Athena's fortune specifically and sadly you really just have to kind of farm these out with just the missions you are given. Make sure to switch up your game plan and enjoy yourself as if you don't you are on a path to burnout and you will not enjoy the game much longer. So definitely make sure you're having fun, invite your friends, and do different things just to keep yourself entertained. As I said at the beginning, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe as it helps me massively. If you guys have any tips, no matter the size, big or small, that will help me or somebody else with Athena's, please let me know as I'm sure somebody will be able to find your tip helpful. Like I said, please like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.